information. It came with the cars. Okay. Oh, no, it doesn't make it legal, sir. This has they been. This has been tested. State law requires 50% or greater sunlight. Right now, you are showing 23% sunlight through your. Put it back here where it's not dirty. Sir. 23%. If you want, you can clean this off. I'm going to show 23%. 23 percent that's 47 okay i said 50 percent or more oh yeah ladies and gentlemen it's gonna be one of those interactions you know the one where the cop changes it up on the spot welcome back to my channel san joaquin jr now today's video is from blocksburg lover and it's taking place in higginsport ohio and i do believe this involves the higginsport police department i'm not quite sure because the officer in this video doesn't identify so Apparently this officer has pulled this family over before and was given pushback by the driver and that left a sour taste in the fat mouth of this officer. As you're going to see coming up, this officer's initial reason for the traffic stop starts to change from one thing to another and once he gets pushed back yet again, that's when he shows his true blue tyrant colors. But enough of me talking, let's get into the video. Why is he pulling you over? We'll find out. So funny too, because we were literally like right by Cassie's. You didn't even grab anything out of here? Yeah, you will. Like paperwork. Just grab it. This? Was really jamming to me, <sighs> too. I'm really jamming to you. Same old guy. Hey, how you doing? How are you? I'm sorry. Said, so how are you? I'm doing all right. I believe I talked to you before about your loud exhaust, right? Yes, and I got it fixed. Thank you. Okay. Well, I looked up. Thank you for, for letting me look up the I, law on that, too. Okay. Loud exhaust in your tinted windows, sir. Uh, so, the the tinted like, windows are under. I'm sorry, sir. Hey, sir, listen. I'm listening to you. I'm okay. tired of listening to you. Okay. Just so you, you know, have pulled me over for just... three months now for the same book that I even there. Okay. I gave it's you under 79 time, right, decimals. Sir? This vid this traffic stop is being audio and video recorded. Okay? You're being recorded I understand too. You are too, sir. The reason I stopped you was the exhaust is hanging down. It's a defective exhaust as well as a tin window. I do have tin window here nothing. that we'll check. We'll check your tent. So right now, do you have a driver's license, proof of insurance, registration, sir? Um, I do. Okay, I need that, sir. The state of Ohio requires that upon request of law enforcement officer, you do have to provide the documents. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. I want your supervisor, please. I'm sorry, sir. I would like your supervisor. I, no, that ain't going to happen. I would like your supervisor. I need your driver's license, proof of insurance, yeah. registration. Thank you, sir. I need your proof of insurance, too, sir. <clears throat> You already know a that. A traffic thing. stop is not harassment. A traffic stop. It is when it's a two weeks later. I still got the receipt the for it. Vehicle violation is not harassment, sir. Mm. I do need you to roll this window down a little bit so I can check your meter. So I can check your window with my meter. You can see it right there, sir. I do have a window temp meter okay. right here. This will not. That came with. I need you to. Okay. It came with the cars. Okay. Oh, no, it doesn't make it legal, sir. This has been. This has been no tested. State law requires 50% or greater sunlight. Right like now, you are showing 23% sunlight through your. Put it back here where it's not dirty, sir. 23%. If you want, you can clean this off. <coughs> I'm going to show 23. 23%. That's 47. Okay. 
I said 50% or more. All right, before I jump into this officer's behavior, I would like it to be known that back in 2010, this police department was in fact shut down. It was only reinstated in 2016. And during that six year period, the Brown County Sheriff's Office held jurisdiction over this town. Now, usually when this happens, quote unquote, castaway officers end up getting hired on to fill the positions, meaning officers that have failed to be promoted in one department or even fired for misconduct in another department can get hired on to fill out this department. Now that is not an excuse, but rather it is most likely the explanation as to why this officer is a complete tyrant. He clearly stated upon initial contact that the exhaust on the car was too loud. Once the driver informed him that he fixed it, from the previous ticket that this officer gave him, the officer doesn't seem too satisfied with that answer. So, what does this blue line bacon do? He starts tacking on more supposed infractions. Now, keep in mind, this guy was already ticketed for the supposed muffler about two weeks ago. This officer just couldn't leave well enough alone though, and proceeds to test this guy's tint, which shows that there is 47% visibility. The traffic code does in fact say 50% or more, but there are varying factors here such as the window being dirty. So basically, this officer's ass hurts because this driver isn't just rolling over to his mercy. Okay, I'll look at the law on it that too. It doesn't show 50%. You're just out to get it. <clears throat> All right, let me go ahead and get here. And I appreciate you videotaping this as well as I'm videotaping this as well. Oh, because you're welcome. right now you were being non-compliant state law requires- I'm being compliant. I, I'm you, tired of being pulled over by you all the time. You actually signed documentation saying upon request of a law enforcement officer that requests your driver's license, you will provide that. I gave it and to you. And also there is case law that states mm -hmm. that upon request of a law enforcement officer to exit the vehicle, you will exit as well as anybody and everybody in the vehicle. That is case law. Pennsylvania versus MIMS, ma'am. And I appreciate you taping that because oh, it's on. Okay? you're welcome. Pennsylvania Stop. versus MIMS says that upon request i can have you exit the vehicle i don't know what's in that vehicle for my safety and your safety i have i can ask you to exit the vehicle okay Okay, you're good until September this uh, this year. Correct. I appreciate that, sir. So again, so why did you turn your vehicle off? Was it because of uh, the defective exhaust, or so you could hear me? No, okay. I didn't. I didn't need it. Well, sir, can you go ahead and start your vehicle for me? Okay. It idles hard. Okay. See, that's under 79 decibels. I, no, sir. I didn't yes. say, sir. I did not stop you for loud exhaust. I stopped you for a defective exhaust. That's different. Okay, I will be back with you. Yeah, right. I'm not even scared. One, two, three, four. How old is the uh, child in the back seat? Why is that relevant? I'm sorry. Why, Why is that, is that relevant? relevant? Because in Ohio, any passenger from the age of 8 to 14 in any seat in a motor vehicle must have a seat belt on. He does not have a seat belt on. Okay, I didn't okay. know that. I'm he, sorry? I didn't know that he had yes, it sir, on. Yes, sir, it's a law. I, didn't, okay. I know it's a law, yes. Okay, he does not have a seat belt on. I hope you're recording this because he does not have a seat belt on. Okay, yes. That's child endangerment. I'll be back. So, you're being cited today for one to ten violation as well as transport, transporting a child failure to be secured in a seat belt. As far as your exhaust, the law states it's not a decibel only, it's a defective or modified exhaust. You can buy any type of exhaust and put that on there. But if it's defective, if it's hanging down, it's called defective exhaust. So, again.
again, I don't have to show, I don't have to tell you who I am because it's on a citation. I don't have to call my supervisor. I am a captain here. I don't have to give you my badge number by state law as well as our policy that have. says I don't have to provide you that. But I will provide you that because it's on the citation. Is my as information well correct on that? I'm sorry? Is my information correct this time on that? Well, it's whatever's in the BMV, sir. This is automated through the BMV. If there's a problem with it, then you might want to talk to BMV because everything on here is automated through BMV. No, I get okay. my address from my license. Why are you being sarcastic? Automated through BMV, sir. I'm just so, asking. I'm not being sarcastic. Let me explain this to you. Here's your information back. Okay. So you're being cited okay. today for a windshield violation as well as failure to wear a child restraint in the back seat. It is payable if you choose to pay. It has to be paid before February the 28th. If you choose to show up in court, which is your right to contest the citation, it's going to be February the 28th at 5 o'clock here in the village of Higginsport. If you have any questions after today, here's an information sheet for you. as the phone number if you elect to do credit card by phone or if you want to go online and pay it. Either way, if you have any questions, you can call this number here. Just be mindful that it has to be paid before February the 28th, or if you choose to show up in court, it's February the 28th here in the Village Hagen Court at 5 o'clock. Okay? Cool. Any other questions, sir? Thanks. Okay. Have a safe day. And you too. While the driver should have made sure his son was buckled up in the back seat, I just think overall this officer was fishing at this point to get this driver for anything he could. Now, that's not an excuse for the driver or the passenger. I always say it and I live by it as well. If you're going to give pushback to police, just make sure your situation is buttoned up. Don't give them any justifiable reason to retaliate. Of course, if you come across a heaping pile of blue line turds such as this officer, then he's probably out to make your life hard anyways. Mind you, this is apparently a quote-unquote captain of the department. That means he's most likely a supervisor. If he's out harassing people like this, just imagine what he teaches a young green officer that has never pulled someone over before. The saying crap rolls downhill is real, and if you have a bad leader, more than likely that leader will usher in a bad group or even a bad generation of officers. With that being said, huge props to the young girl who recorded this interaction. Make sure you head on over to this family's channel, subscribe, and let them know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching.